pleasure to welcome Cindy Lauper. Nice, very nice response. What is this? You look very nice. This is a, a jumpsuit. What is that? It's old. It's old? Yes, it's uh, it's from the 60s. It's polyester. Oh, really? Oh, yes. It has that <laughs> Me feel. used to stretch. Oh, it's very nice. Yes. Now, that would just, if, if that caught fire, that would just... Yes, melt. Basically. <laughs> it's pleasant wear. And I understand you're very, you're upset about something. Yes. Yes. Do I mean, you want to share that with us? Well, I, and maybe I wanna, we could help. Maybe. You know, I don't want to get too dark. A lot of people, they listened to the record. They said, you know, since it's a little dark. Even though I, you know, I had that song, Feels Like Christmas, and that's what I think. And, you know, kind of like upbeat songs. They focused in on that one particular song and, you know, about domestic problems. And, uh -huh. you know, and, and, you know, I was reading the paper. And I don't know if you know this, but Dick Tracy and Tess Trueheart, it's over. It's over 45 years. It's true. That was just in the New York Times today. Yes. And, you know, so domestic stuff is everywhere. And I think it's pretty telltale of the times, you know, because now it's them. I mean, we, well, we read about Bert, right? Bert and Lonnie. We read about, um, you know, <laughs> the Bobbits. Exactly. <laughs> you know, and you know and she's getting... Dick, yeah, Dick, Dick and, Tracy, yeah. it's over, yeah. I know. And, you know, she's getting the... Bobbitt's the woman she's getting sued now. By who? Yeah, when she was driving, you know, and she threw it out. <laughs> Hit some lady in the eye and now she's suing him. <laughs> yeah, she's suing him for being cockeyed. Oh, no. No, there's no reason for that. Cindy, a lot of a lot of children watch this show. Demographics oh. breakdown shows that we're mostly watched by nine and ten year olds. Oh my God, really? Yeah. How do you yeah. feel now? Well, I feel that the, again the family structure is a little upside down. <laughs> it's, um, strange, you know. And and you grew up watching Dick and Tess, right? And and you know, it's like when your friends split up, you feel kind of you don't know what to say. It's almost like your parents. You don't want to really say anything, but you're feeling traumatic. Wait a minute. You you really been reading Dick Tracy regularly? Who's been doing that? Well, the truth is, I I don't always read the book. I go see the movie. So when they started making the cartoons, I saw the movie. I saw the cartoons, but. Really, that was the foundation of my childhood, Dick and Tess. So you take this stuff pretty seriously? Well, you know, I think, you know... I think a sicker thing is Popeye and olive oil. Well, olive oil has a baby, sweet pea. Yes, she does. Who's the father? You don't know. Oh, come on, it's Popeye. Yo, Popeye and Bluto are always dropping by, but she has a kid well, and no one fesses up. That's right, they're living in sin. <laughs> And that's my nickname. This whole so cartoon thing, this. it's uh, its disgusting and it's sick. It's sad. It's very sad. And, you know, it just reflects, you know, today's uh, society. The whole you know, thing. The whole marriage thing. It's, it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. Oh, we, were just, uh, we were just watching your video here. Your mom isn't in this video. I no. Thought, I thought you put your mom in your videos. Yeah, I used to put my mom in my videos until I realized I was a stage daughter. I was pushing her to be something she, she really didn't want to be. I'm not kidding. Because my mother told me, you know, one day she had to go do something. And I says, oh, yeah, mom, you know. And she started to get the shakes. I said, what's the matter? She says, well, you know, I'm really shy. And I says, you're shy? She's, I said, but, mom, you've been doing all these videos. She says, yeah, I just wanted to spend some time with you, you know. Oh. And so now I don't do that anymore. I just, you know, I go visit her. Well, that's nice. Yeah. And you don't bring a video crew with you or no, anything? No, well, I used to do that. I thought it was funny. But, no, it's a trauma, you know, so we don't do that. Uh-huh, that's very nice of you. I see your hair looks very nice. It looks d very different than it did in the video. Was the yeah. video shot a long time ago? What's the deal? No, I shot the video in June. In June. In, um, actually in Toronto. And, and I your shot hair got this long? See? It's the vitamins. No. It's, um... <laughs> No, I actually the hair extensions. 
Really? Yeah, because I, as I was touring, I said, oh, my hair, I got to keep fussing with my hair. I want a crew cut. And then I saw myself. And I figured, I need a little hair. Quick. <laughs> so I got my girlfriend, who is a beautician, Helena, and she sewed in some more hair. Now, how does that work? What are hair extensions? Because I'm a little interested myself. You want um, a few hair extensions? It's, it's something I'm, I'm kind of... shiny in certain Exactly. Stuff. No, but how does it work? Do they, what are they, they glue the hair to your head? Do they tie it to your existing hair? Please help Oh, yeah. You, you braid your hair, and I mean, this is real. It's not a joke. They braid your hair, and then they sew some hair onto that braid. And then you have... Does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. Because it's not your head. They don't sew it onto your scalp. That oh, would I hurt. see. I pictured someone putting a needle into your skull. Oh, no. That's that other thing with the plugs. I've seen oh, that okay. on television. Oh, okay. All right. All right. No, you don't get that if you just no, get a shirt. I've done that. I know what that's all about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of like gardening. Now, how is it like gardening? Because, I don't know, they have the plugs, <laughs> and then it grows like grass. <laughs> You know, you sew it in, and I guess they sew it into your scalp, but I wouldn't go for that too much. I no, no, know. I think you've done the right thing. I've done the right thing, yes. It, it scares my husband every time I come home. It's a new look. It's a new me. You're married? Oh, yeah, I got well, married. I don't picture you having like a, I don't know why, just like a domestic marriage. I don't, is your husband, a, he's a normal guy? He's an actor. He's an actor? He's an actor, my husband. Have we seen him anywhere? Well, he was in Men of Respect. He did a little part there. He does stuff on television, and he does plays. And he just did a movie uh, with Alan Rudolph, uh, the Dorothy Parker story. It's not out yet. But he plays George Kaufman. And, you know, George Kaufman, the, uh, the famous playwright yeah, and that the, wrote and the, the Marx Brothers movies. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, my husband works out, so he's like a beefcake Charlie, almost, mm -hmm. you know. Very, <laughs> hey, you know, if I'm going to get married, he might as well be good-looking, right? So I went for it. So anyway... <laughs> He, you know, I get there because he was shooting in Canada, so I went there, and of course I was all dressed up from the tour. I figured I'd dress up good. I had the black dress with the slit and the platforms, the hat on backwards. I said, "Hey, I look great." I scared him. I walked in. <laughs> I scared him. I took off my hat, and he said, "What happened to your hair?" I said, oh, "I got a haircut." He says, "Oh, it's nice." And you no, know, so it took like a little minute, you know. And then I went and I saw, took a look at him, and we went on set, and I watched him, and he had the collar up to his neck, and his. Shoulders were rolled and he took on the... Because he's one of those guys that... He takes on the physical appearance of George Kaufman. And, and the other stuff. You know, we would go out to eat and he, and he would clean up the table as we were leaving. Uh, and, uh, and he's I doing that method stuff people. of being in character when he's with you? I don't know. I don't understand that stuff. But he does that stuff, yeah. Maybe he's just dangerously crazy. You know? No, he's very talented. He's uh, nutty, though. But you wouldn't picture me with, you know, very conservative person. I didn't know what I was thinking. I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I'm glad... He's a stockbroker. No, I'm like... <laughs> Someone who works at Merrill Lynch. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, uh, thank you very much for stopping by, though. Oh. It was really nice of you. Uh, we're going to step away for a second. We'll be right back.